Yes. Go for it. Go for it. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Yes. Use your deploy. Stay in the inside. Come on, Zap. Come on, Zap. Yes. Yes. Our oh, first point on the board. Hello, people. And welcome back to F1 F1 Manager 2022. We completed the Miami Grand Prix, one new track for this season in the last part. Today, we will go to an old classic and that is the Circuit de Barcelona Catalunya. As some of you suggested, I will we'll be recording a bit more of practice, especially the more interesting stuff that happens. Anyway, we'll take a look at the calendar and we'll get some... Let's see, what, what is happening now? Factory event. We got a point for Seb last part. So we can improve one thing of Sep, and I don't know what we could improve, but I guess the adaptability doesn't look that great. But I don't think we need to have adaptability. The thing is, I would think about improving the pace somehow, and that would probably be cornering. Because we couldn't pull away from them, and I think we lost a lot of time in the corner, so I just... Improve the cornering, it will help us everywhere, so let's take this one and improve Zep there. Now, for our cars, let's have a look. Get the underfloor installed on both cars. The better one. Actually, we lose out in high speed with the new underfloor. Oh well. New underfloor for both cars. New front wing is on both cars. How many underfloors do we have? Two. Let's build two more. In the normal approach. Then we'll basically have some time. I was thinking about upgrading the facility, but it would be a cheap one, like a five million one or something, because we need some money to maybe rush some upgrades later on, actually develop uh, manufacture upgrades later on. Let's see, can we do anything useful with facilities? Or just go for more weekly income, why not? Weekly income is always good. Better tourist center. As well as maybe... I think we could start to get some sponsor targets done. So we could increase our payout, which would also help us. And I don't think it's too expensive here. Let's improve the helipad. Let's do some small upgrades. The weather station, more accurate forecast. I think it's good enough for now. Team attractiveness. Welcome to level 2. Plus 10%. I think that's kind of huge though. Just 10% boost. Let's go for it. Let's upgrade our boardroom. Let's give them some more confidence in us. Okay. Now that we have some upgrades done, let's continue on. Oh yeah, I think the new front wing is in low stock, isn't it? Yeah, let's go for two new front wings. And chassis is also in low stock. Am I developing no ch chassis? No, I'm developing a new rear wing, aren't I? We are probably fine on the chassis. We are probably fine. The gearbox and poor condition that is okay. Our helipad got upgraded. That is complete now. Sponsor target payout is 1% higher. Race prep. Oh, go to the race preparation. Let's see our targets reach. Q2. That is still hard. We try our best. Qualifying position 15th. Can we achieve 15th? What does Barcelona look like? Circuit information. Circuit map. Okay. We don't have many slow sections, we have many straight sections. We really need to improve on straight sections, they are so many across all the tracks. Monaco will probably be good for our, our car. Can we get second for Monaco? Probably. Next Grand Prix. Yeah, look at that. Actually, there are not too many slow sections. We need a better car for straights, I think. Okay, um, yeah, go to the weekend. We finished in the 15th one time, so four, four more finished positions in 15th and we get a bonus. We won't get fast lap, that is for sure. I don't know if we can get 15th in quality, so I won't risk it. Let's go to the race weekend. Formula One has cranked up the heat over Barcelona. The first Grand Prix held here was won by Nigel Mansell after a wheel-to-wheel -wheel battle with Ayrton Senna. But who will follow in his footsteps this weekend? Long straights and medium speed turns dominate here, but there's something else to watch out for at Barcelona. The air currents are strong and unpredictable, and they'll be giving aerodynamic components a real run for their money this weekend. 
We might still be early in the season, but that doesn't mean we can sit back and relax. Everything is up for grabs, and nothing is certain at this stage. The competition is on. Okay, competition's on. We tried our best in practice. So let's have a base set up. Let's see, yeah, it looks like there are many straights, so let's go with a low rear wing angle. Change the toe or the anti roll distribution a bit around. And have this one as a baseline setup. See what we can do. Now I'm I need to remember to replace the engine in the gearbox for the race and qualifying. <laughs> Maybe we'll get a good result then. I need to remember. Do we start out on softs? Or do we go on softs later on? No, we can actually for the first setup we can just probably use softs and then later on go to other compound. Cast that up for straw. Important to change it here already so you don't have to waste time in the actual session. Let's see what he thinks about the setup. And two laps of fuel, because that seemed helpful. I think I will call them immediately in once they know about their setup. I want to try this as a new strat and see how we get on. So send them out immediately and call them in immediately good? once they know about the setup. Yep, we're out of clear. They should be green now. Okay, Sepp is good on his Coming setup. In doing any more. Come in now. Okay, reconfigure Sepp's car. Okay, more speed on straights, we can get that. Try to change this around a bit. Yeah, this looks good. We stay on the same soft tire. Now let's go for a new one. Stroll still needs it a bit to assess the setup. There he goes. How does it feel? Stroll is also kinda happy with the setup. But only kinda. Need more front wing on stroll. Oh, there's a crash! Not sure who right now. Oh, Ferrari's standing still. Virtual safety car. Virtual safety down. car. Yeah, ignore it's it for now. Collision. Let's take a look Multiple at the cars of Ferrari. Watch this. Oh, There's okay. I'll lock up probably into the rear of the Alpine. Okay, the Alpine just turned white and just ran into There's Leclerc. The collision. It's caused absolute carnage. Absolute carnage. Okay, Seb, what is your setup like? You don't like the traction. Uh, we can change that. Maybe a tiny bit like this. Let's see, why do you don't don't you like your setup? Oh, there are two things in the bed. Uh, oops. Like this. Session is ending now. Let's see. We are still 17th and 18th. But I guess we can't do anything against that. Got some decent acclimatization. Oh, I just saw heavy rain in quali. No, wait, in practice three. And quali. Oh, okay. Let's continue on. Let's look at our car parts. Because there's minor... No, the minor damage is totally fine. I think this is fine as well. Keep them this way. Stroll as well. And the new setup we just put on them. Oh, wait. Actually, let's give them the proper tire. Actually, the soft one is the proper tire. Well, let's give them two more laps of fuel. There we go. Go to practice and confirm. We have a new front wing and a new floor now, so we should be better at everything. Even if it, it is a tiny bit, but we should be better. Then we'll soon get a new rear wing and that will help us immensely as well. That is the plan, for now at least. Oh, driver lock up. Oh no! Oh no, Sap! Talking about a new front wing, oh, straight into the wall. It's a crash. Yeah, we saw that. Virtual safety car. Okay, Sap is okay. He needed to retire the car though. The chassis has taken a lot of damage. Oh, that is bad. <laughs> we only have one spare. Sebastian, we need to retire the car. Yeah. Oh, he locked up and ran the wall. At least we didn't get a penalty. At least we didn't get a penalty. Okay, car feels pretty good to stroke. Call him in, get him a new setup. See if we can improve it even more. Try this one. And do we keep the tires? Let's keep the same tires, save a bit of time. 
This is our only hope now for qualifying. He has the track acclimatization. Zep just lost a whole session. Maybe just stick to the setup that we have we had with Zep. Maybe try one different setup and then do a long run plan on the hearts. Get the track acclimatization up. That's currently my thought on what we could do to improve the situation. Okay, wait. Um configure straw. Optimal on a lot of things he isn't sure about. Actually, do we need to reconfigure straw or are we fine with this one? We're more than 80%. Get some track acclimatization. How about that? Okay, sending straw out. Okay, that's the end of the session. Good session. Yes, good session, indeed. Okay, so I'm, since I'm not quite sure how it will work with the parts, 90% confidence is pretty good. Welcome back as we continue our race weekend with practice soon to finish and then qualifying hot on its heels. Drivers will need to perform with remarkable consistency if they're to secure a strong position on tomorrow's grid. It's not just about one moment of brilliance. No, they'll need to prove over the course of qualifying that they have what it takes to occupy those coveted places. You're going to want to join us for this, folks, so fasten your seatbelts. Okay, the thing is, I'm not sure how uh, the engine repair... Oh, actually, it's wet now. Huh, <laughs> that will be interesting. Heavy rain. So I'm not sure how the engine repair stuff works. So since Stroll is currently our better performing driver since I've crashed, my plan is to take Stroll and give him the new engine stuff already and see with Seb if we can do it later on. Did we get him completely new engine? No, I think that one's fine. The gearbox is fine. Actually, that is fine as well, the ERS. Give him a new engine. And then we can see if we can still do it that ahead of qualifying or if we need to do it ahead of P3 like we did with Stroll right now. Three things optimal, two things in good. So we would like to change the traction like this and get the braking stability somewhere else. But I don't know how we should go about the braking stability. Oh, like this, actually. Okay, this could give us 100% optimal. I have confidence in this setup. I don't know what weather we'll be starting on. Since it's heavy rain, I try full wets, maybe? Sep as well. Sep just needs to do laps on end. How much can the tire drive? Okay, basically a whole race. And let's go to practice. Okay, it's not raining now. Yeah, I'm clear. What tires are you on? On wet. It should be green now. And then let's change uh, the tires. Terminal damage car. Oh, wait, wait, I didn't replace the front thing, didn't I? Oh no, other parts. I didn't replace other parts. Wait. What didn't I replace? Front thing is still fine, I think. Replace one left. Okay, now I'm good. Okay, it actually didn't show me the front wing. But it's damaged. Okay, we're fine. I think. Oh no, 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 don't start this troll. No, <laughs> he's in wet. Um, oops, we don't need them right now. <laughs> oh, sorry, Stroll. Yeah, you will probably burn through these tires very quick. Come in. We don't need to drive out on wets. Test lap on wets. Okay. Go out, Sep. When is the rain about to come in? Wait, there is no rain. Or maybe 40%. Okay, there's slight chance of rain. Later on. Okay, if the car is great, I keep him out for the whole session to get the confidence up. So we'll now just keep on driving circles. Hopefully it won't rain. Look at Haas, I think they did a mighty upgrade 9th and 10th. I Means just practice, but I still, look at them. Look at them go. Our track acclimatization will just ramp up until the end, that is good. Get set where he needs to be. Troll didn't give us info on his setup, that is fine though. Oh, he did it! Optimal! Very good Copy. job. Okay, let's see. Okay, it's optimal on nearly everything, 99%. But I think we don't need more than 99% for the highest performance bonus, so let's keep that. Give him the hard tires and just run him to the end. Give him a few more laps. Is 30 too much? 25. Send him out. Okay, and that is P3 for us, I think. Not much to do. Just wait. Get the confidence up, car part knowledge up, and hope for the best. 
99% confidence is pretty good, so we're golden. No rain on track. Maybe the rain will come in qualifying. Heavy rain for qualifying would be interesting. 100% track acclimatization stroll now. VSC for some reason. We've just had a spin. Can it spun? That's your safety car. Slow. Let's see. Let's have a look. What now Hamilton do? This. Lewis Hamilton involved in this one. Oh, he just yes, lost the car. They spin out. <laughs> and the Ferrari. He actually managed to continue on though. The team are really disappointed with that. That looked interesting. It slowed us a bit down, but we still gained a lot of track limitation with that. 15 out of 15 and 13 out of 15. 85%. Yeah, that is good. That is good. Okay, qualifying now. Don't forget to change Sepp's engine. Gearbox is pretty worn now. Brand new engine. New part costs 1 million. Interesting. Okay. And brand... Oh, not brand new, but new gearbox. ERS still seems fine. So, yeah, there we go. This is our setup now. The traction is still bad. You know what? Since the traction is still bad, it's probably somewhere here. And if I get the rest back to where it was, the traction will probably improve as well. So, that isn't changing that much. But we can get rid of the bad traction. And I think that is worth it because the rest is basically where it was. Just the traction is at the better point. So let's do this for Seth. He has an untested setup now, but that is fine. And let's start qualifying. Now, yeah, loud and clear. do we do a banker lap again? Probably. Let's try to do a banker lap again. And Seb as well. Let's see if we get lucky. We got lucky with Seb, we didn't get lucky with Stroll. Okay. Seems like a decent time for now. Oh, 1.5 seconds off Paris. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> you know what? Just do another left with straw. Why not? Just drive out immediately again on the same compound. And same with Seb. Refuel him and drive out again immediately. Let's see how our boys go on. They get blocked a bit, especially last sector. Don't know if they improved it. Didn't actually look. But the goal of this lap wasn't to improve much anyway. Right now we have P9 and P13, but a lot of people still haven't set their time, so... Let's see if we actually end there. And we could do even... We could even do another lap. But actually, let's go on tires now. Let's not play around now. Or maybe we try to play around with Seb, because maybe he can get setup confidence that way. Even if we can't change anything with this car. We'll send him out and see what he can do. Especially since he will get clean air. No one blocking him. Will he get in and be able to drive out again though? Pit lane. We are on P12 right now, that is pretty good. Just pit limiter, just a reminder on pit limiter. Two minutes was the cutoff point for Miami, but the track was longer. Or two minutes ten. Give some new tires quickly. First people will drive out pretty soon. We send Stroll out. Will he get blocked? Okay, first one is out. Let's go with Stroll. Because as long as we are not behind the Williams something, we can maybe get dragged up by Ocon. Ocon is slow right now, but he should probably improve. It's getting pretty close on time for Sepp. Stroll has a decent gap now. If the lap time is 13 seconds quicker... Do I send them out now? Or do I wait a tiny bit more? Usually they leave margin for error. So if I send him not now, he should be good. Come on, Sep, you can do it. Stroll is ahead of Q. Sep is the most clean air at the end of the queue. Okay, let's have an on-board look with Stroll. He has pretty much clean air. There's someone behind him. Yeah, someone is behind him. Mercedes, I think. As long as the Mercedes won't catch us and they won't fight, that is totally fine. Will Sep make it over the line? Yes, he will. Okay, let's see. Stroll has two green sectors. That's very good. He's blocking Hamilton. I mean, he's only doing his best, so... Russell... Oh no, Russell is at the edge. Oh, Stroll didn't improve enough! Why is Russell so far low? Okay. Seb, you're improving. And you are already ahead of some people. Sonoda's ahead of us, but we are improving. Two green sectors. 
Come on, Zep, go out of. Oh no, but it's also Professor. Okay, we need to beat Mick and, Mick and Sonoda. Come on, Zep. Last sector. Where actually are you? Oh, there you are. Did you improve? Did he improve? No? P17? Did anything happen? It doesn't seem like it. Out in Q1 again! That makes me sad. You didn't really improve. Can I, can I see your lap times? Later view? Lap history. Oh, he didn't improve in the last sector. Or did he? I'm actually confused. 119. Okay, actually, it wasn't enough. That's all I need to know. But it makes me sad. It's race day, and final preparations are underway. Okay, we start on Intos. did a good job during qualifying, and they're pretty much where everyone expected them to be on the grid. Now, it's up to them to defy expectations during the race itself. Mm. Pass proved quite resourceful during qualifying. That puts them in a very good position to make the most of this race start. And the race will be taking place under blue skies. That means the team should be able to apply their strategies without any added complications. And there are going to be some tough calls to make in Catalonia today. So let's see who makes the best ones for the Spanish Grand Prix. Okay, let's see. Apparently it's already raining. Reach Q, yeah, we didn't manage to do that. Let's try to get 15th to get our hot streak up and our race target. Get a million. Reaching Q2 isn't even that rewarding. Okay, what is the strategy? It's not raining yet. The two stop worked pretty good for us, so let's try the two stop again, I would say. Just just keep it this way. They're right behind each other. Do I want them to have the same strategy? Okay, the thing is I don't know how the medium will perform. Just keep them out. It usually wasn't worth to have the fast tire later on, so let's go for full-on push by setting soft, medium, medium. <laughs> we have some tires left then. But stroke can push like hell the whole race then. Let's do it this way. But also have soft at the start so they can fight each other. Or, I mean, fighting each other isn't very helpful, but at the start of the race it doesn't matter, we just need to get ahead of the people. But I can change something for Sep, now that I thought about it. Because if we do soft, soft, medium, I'll just change this up a bit. So we have the slowest tire at the end, because that seemed to be the stretch up until now. Let's update that, use that strategy. And yeah, we'll go for it. It's bright and sunny as the drivers line up on the grid. And there's Sebastian Vettel. They're starting in the bottom half of the grid today, so there's a lot of cars between them and the podium. There's the second Aston Martin. Slower than most yesterday, so today they'll be starting from the bottom half of the grid. The teams are ready to go. One of the oldest races on the Formula One calendar. This Three red lights, is the four Spanish red lights. Grand Prix. And it's lights out, and away we go. Okay, let's go on bottom with Seb. He's in pull away, getting past Nola immediately. Right behind Schumacher. That's Nola goes back. Down the inside. Nope, we stay ahead. Oh, maybe we don't. Looks like Aston Martin have just gained a race position. Yeah, staying ahead of Sonoda now. Let's see if we can get Mick. Haven't used much ERS right now. Sonoda gets us back on down on the inside, but we are on the outside, which will be the inside right now. So we, we will probably stay ahead. He's on hearts. All the people around us are on hearts. Interesting. Having a look down the inside of Magnussen. Oh, Schumacher, sorry. So Schumacher. But not yet, not turn 10. Okay, we will use the overtake on the straight and then we go back to neutral. We can push the tires though. On both cars. Push out the final corner. Go back to neutral. You do as well. Let's see. Carbon copy, basically. Down the inside. Can we get him? 
around the inside now, around the outside now again, around the inside for turn three. Nice. Got past Schumacher. And right next to Sonoda, also got past Sonoda. Very good, guys, very good. Two positions gained. This is good, come on. Could still be on overtake a bit because we are capping out again. Especially since the people around us are on high tires. So we need to get past them. We don't want to get bogged down by them. We're two compounds faster. We need to use those compounds. Push as hard as we can in the beginning because those laps don't have DRS. Which can help us but can also harm us. DRS is enabled. DRS is enabled. Yes. Yes. Okay, push out of the last corner. Don't use any more. You also don't need to use any more. Getting past Joe easily. Stroll tries to get past Schumacher. Come on, I'll break him. Yes, keep in front of him. Now in the inside. They're side by side. They're still side by side. And we got him. Good job. Back to set. Stroll has a bit more ERS. Which you can actually use. Use energy. Yeah. Soon to overtake. Use overtake. Not right now. You will use it on start pit again to get past Joe. Making a tiny look down the inside. Now the final sector is our sector. Use overtake. Slow speed is Stop our forte. It. Now we really get a good fraction out of the last corner because of our tire compound probably. Joe has the RS, but that's fine. Seb is also trying to overtake the McLaren in front of us. He actually did it. Or did he? He's side by side with the McLaren of Norris. Come on, Seb. Oh, they're both side by side, but now we're on the outside. That could be kind of costly. Maybe try to nip down the inside. Cheeky. No cheeky. Seb did the job. Ahead, that's good. Looks like Aston yeah, don't Martin need to use the engine now. Race good job, Seb. P13. Look at that. But we are also on a two-stop with both of them, so... Some of them seem to be on a one-stop, especially with those hard tires. Let's see what we can do. Is the car... Magnus is also on hards. Kev is also on hards. Go for overtake now. You as well. See what you can do. Rick still got DRS. Ricciardo. Come on, get him. New fresh engine. There we go. Oh, he's still fighting though. Stroll spun. No. Stroll spun. At least he's okay. Like a spin. We can take right a behind now. us. Now let's have a look. It's Lance Stroll. Oh, on the curb in turn one. And into the gravel pit. Really unfortunate. And the team had such high hopes today. What a shame. Yeah, that's how I feel. Okay, Stroll, you're good to push now though. Catchy Williams. Okay, don't want to have overtake right- oh, maybe I do. Hang on. I actually don't want to have overtake right now. Stroke can basically just push, 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 push on his tires. As long as he doesn't spin again. And he even had 99% setup confidence. He's making mistakes. If we get the inside into turn 1, we're good. If we get the outside, we're not so good. On the overtake. So Sepp, try to get the inside. <laughs> right behind them. Can we nip down the inside? No, okay. Then let's harvest a bit. Gasly's holding up the strain behind him. Look at that. That's good fast though. That's good, really good fast. Okay, Stroh's two seconds behind the Williams. You can maybe conserve some ERS to later on easily overtake the Williams and not get overtaken back. It's not too bad, Stroll. We can, we can salvage this, I think. Maybe. We can try to, at least. Do we try to overtake Ricardo? No, I don't think we have enough ERS to try that right now. Actually, does it matter though? Yeah, maybe, maybe we do try. And then save again for the whole lap. 
Get enough overspeed. Oh yeah, down the inside. Can we do it? Come on, Sap. We already harvest. No, okay. Straw cut up to one of the Williams. You are allowed to use overtake to get past them as quick as possible. Is he in softs? Am I seeing that right? The Williams is in softs, but he's just slow as... Okay, minions Latifi. But he's still slow as a duck. Sitting duck. There we go, down the inside. That's an interesting spot to overtake. Good job, Straw. This is good. Yes, this is good. Now harvest again. Latifi probably won't bother you, even if he's in softs. Both Williams are on softs, okay. Aston Martin with a great play there. They've moved up a place. We are using a lot of fuel, but that is fine for now. We'll see when we'll conserve it later on. Gasly is still holding up everyone else behind him. We're part of the Gasly train. I could try to get to use the play out of the last corner and see if it works better. Stroll and Sepp still both fine on tires. Maybe Sepp can go for aggressive instead of attack. Don't go too aggressive on those tires because they need to last a little bit longer. Not as long as Strolls, but uh, yeah, a little bit longer than Strolls. Stroll can just full on push the whole race. Talking about Stroll, he nearly caught up to Albon. Can you stretch go early deploy? Because I think you'll use energy if you need it. Use energy. Deploy some here. Yep. Copy. Get right behind Ricardo and then deploy more on the straight. Stroll is also allowed to use overtake now. You see, we deployed more out of the corner and we had a bit more at the start. Okay, I think it did something. At least Ricardo had to defend now. <laughs> Those two are fighting way harder. Paris and Verstappen also. Paris blocking him. Verstappen is on softs as well. No, wait. Paris is on softs. Verstappen is in front of him. He's just blocking him. Interesting tactics. Um, yeah. Good thing we don't have that problem. Okay, past the Williams down the inside. We'll see a replay of that in a second. You're doing a good job. Yeah, you're doing a good job, Stroll. So we have so much energy now, we can push a bit. If you need it. Okay. Maybe go back on the fuel. Let's see what happened there. Now let's have a look. It's long Side by side to turn one on the inside and then on the outside of turn three. Very good, Stroll. Very good. Clean. Next target is Tsunoda. Sepp kind of lost out to Ricardo. I don't know if it's good that we are in the strain or bad. Because we, on one hand we're getting gaining DRS. On the other hand, we're not really making progress on our softs. But the question is, would we make progress on our softs? Sepp is kind of losing a bit. Maybe a bit more pace, Sepp. And go to neutral. Okay, we can try to make another overtake now. Or deploy. See if we can get past one of them again. Use energy if you need. Yeah, okay. No, doesn't seem like it. Or maybe, 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 maybe. Come on, overtake. Stay there. Come on. Oh, we had the outside. Ricardo's too good at defending. He's too smart. He's keeping the inside line. And with a bit more ERS next time around, we could get Ricardo because he's falling out of the DRS of the car in front. Stroll's now in his pit window. Come on, go down the inside. Yes. Oh, I think that could be it. We're gaining a tiny bit. Yes. Go for it, go for it. Keep it, keep it, keep it. Yes. Use your deploy. Stay in the inside. Come on, Zap. Come on down. Yes. We got past Ricardo. Very good. He's still to our left, but I think we get past him now. He's still on our left. You just keep on deploy. There we go. That's it. Good job, Zap. Advancing the train. Okay, we are right behind Sonoda now. Use overtake. Let's go past him when you can. Okay, and that is immediately, apparently. <laughs> um, he got overtaken back. Stay cool, man. You're doing a good job. Really are doing a good job. That's a position gained for Alpha Tauri. There you go. Down the RS trade. And deploy a bit and try to get away from him. Nicely done. Can harvest a bit with Seb. Ocon Looks is like really helping us out with Gasly. The Frenchmen the are just building the strain. Oh, Russell is ahead now. Yeah, Russell is probably starting to pull away soon. You can push on fuel now. You are golden. 
Um, yeah, split stroll now. Actually, have a quick look at the map. Stroll is here. If we pit him now, he will have fresh tires. Fresh, fresh, medium. Sector time. He's setting green sectors, I probably should. Okay, he's setting yellow sectors. But the first one is a DRS sector. Stroll has actually pretty, a pretty big clean air gap now. Maybe we just let Stroll drive until the tires are done. Let's keep... Uh, he's yellow yellow though now. I don't want to get stuck behind a Williams, that is the thing. And we will be behind the Williams. I don't want to fight the Williams. I don't think it's smart to put Stroll now. I would like to put Stroll now, but I don't want to be behind the Williams. And I have a lot of clean air with Stroll now, which is good. Well, I, actually, wait, can we do a one-stop? Just, just in theory. If we go on to... not mediums. If we go on to hearts. We could! <laughs> we could. Do we really want to try it though? We could go for one stop. Softs to hearts. Let's create a strategy to be. In theory it would be faster. But I like the soft tire, so let's keep it this way for now. Wait, we can also try another strategy for stroll. What if we have a plan C and the plan C says softs and mediums at the end. Let's give that a try. Drive to the softs are dead, go into new softs and then go into mediums. Let's try this one. Do we still push for them? Yeah, let's still push for them. Just push until the tires fall off. And then we fit in, and then we see about the rest. Gets late for step now to push and attack. But we'll do that next round. A yellow flag, sector 3. Did Stroller spin? Oh no, Stroll did spun, Was didn't he? A lock up on the track? Yeah, he locked up. Oh, Here's come on, the Stroll. Replay. Now let's have a look. It's Lance Stroll. Oh, and there's the lock up. That's the last thing they'll have wanted. Why did he stop? Oh no, okay, because of the other car. Oh, That's man. To be a big blow to the Lee Steps do, doing good. Stroll was actually doing fine. He, he was catching up. But now he's way behind them. Okay, go, going on about the step now, we'll try to overtake another car in the queue. The ploy worked better last time. We are gaining but not enough it seems like. Save some. We just need to charge up. Copy. Then nearly three right ahead of me. Stroll needs the next lap probably. We'll lap after. Catching Sonoda again. Wait, I don't want to be stuck behind Sonoda so let's just pit him. Even if we get close to the leaders, let's just pit stroll now. Okay, had up too long on neutral. <laughs> that was kind of bad. Uh, too, no, too long on harvest. See stroll heading to pits now. What is Hep doing? Still fighting. We look at the stroll's pit stop. Yellow flag sector 2. Yellow exit of 6. Up. Russell locked up. Oh, he's behind us now. He's 16th now. Let's take a closer look. Now let's look at this. Here's George. He was ahead of the queue. Oh, They've that's nasty. That could have been much worse. Right into the gravel. Need to wait for all of us to pass. And that was a bitter blow for the team. And it may have really hurt their overall chances. Yeah, it really did. Santana Alonso and Pit. Stroll just put us on his tires. The can't pit. You can use energy. Use energy. You can use energy. Yes, yeah, doesn't get any DRS. It's good. Rears are hot. Yeah. Rears are overheating. It's fine. Yes, we call in Zep now. Can't use those guys. Interesting. Um, I don't know why. Turned to rarely. Well then, let's put on the softs. I think we'll stay this way. Okay, Seb. Moment of truth. Please have a good pit stop. Clean. Let's see where he will get out.
Behind Russell. Can you keep in front of Gasly? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Be on neutral for now. Okay. First stop done. The other people didn't pit. All the people we were fighting with. That's why they are still where they are. Let's see how our entire strategy will work. I'm quite intrigued. Sounds like someone Ocon is in pit. Up. And do we overtake Ocon? They're right behind them. No, we don't. Okay. Right behind Ocon now. Which allows us to save a bit of fuel and ERS and everything. The goal is still to push as hard as we can. We don't need to overtake Ocon. Ocon will pull us along. Okay, we just did overtake Ocon. Okay, whatever. Aston Martin with a great play there. They moved look. up a place. Let's take a look yep. at the replay. Clean DRS. Let's have a look here. This was the Aston Martin. Instead of turn one. I don't want to fight Ocon too hard. But if I pull away, that's actually good. Going with close to us, but third sector is our sector. Okay, if we push out of the third sector, we could get rid of Ocon. But now he's doing what I want to do with him. Staying behind us and saving stuff. Let me try to deploy. Oh, we don't have any ERS if we try to deploy. We can't, we can't really use our ERS now. Okay, we're both in front of Russell. And we're staying in front of Ocon. Actually, you know what, that's fine. Like if he overtakes up. us, he overtakes us. But if he doesn't overtake us, let's just keep him behind. Why not? Just ruin his race. And are we catching to the people in front? 7, 7.5. Past Norris now. Remember, we are still have a stop to do. 6.5. We are catching. We are catching Mick now. Mick's in 11th. We're not so far off points. I don't want to jinx it, but it looks pretty nice right now. P9 now. And we are probably destroying Ocon's tires because he has to stay behind us. For the whole race. Stroll overtook someone. Stroll is now 17th. Tsunoda is behind him. Maybe we should try to save some in Sector 1 and then pull away from Ocon. Let's have a look how this pans out. 5 tenths, and then Ocon catches up again. He even overtook us now, okay. That's fine. Stay behind Ocon. That's a good overtake from Alpine. Yep, yep. Just pull ahead. We're slingshotting each other with DRS, and that is fine by me. Looks like Aston Martin have just gained a race position. Okay, yeah, Stroll, you can actually go to balance now. Save a bit of fuel. Hopefully Latifi doesn't screw us again. Please, Latifi. Please. Please let me by. And peace. Ocon overtook us. That is fine. We should save ERS while we're behind Ocon. Let's micromanage Seb a bit. Stroll is catching up to Schumacher. But let's go to Seb's on and micromanage him a bit. Don't need to go past Ocon now. Probably will do, but we don't need to. No, actually won't. On... Charge. Okay. We are in a very good position for Seb right now. Soon we'll have to pit again, but we're good right now. Oh, I actually want... Yeah, still harvesting. That's good. Good window entered. Yep, that's fine. No. Did we actually... No, that's good. If we would have been on neutral, we would have overtaken him right now, but we don't need to overtake him now. Now we have actually a good enough amount of ERS. Let's try to get him now. Stroll is getting close to his pit window. As well as Seb. Okay, go for it. Deploy out of the last corner seems to work very good. Yeah, easy overtake. Clean ahead. Let's see if we can pull away a bit. Without battery, he will overtake us back again. Okay. Understandable. Okay, we need to be careful that Akon doesn't pull away too far. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. We should pit now. Look at the tires, we should pit now. Actually, we're still behind Akon. Should we pit now? Yeah, we're starting to lose crypto. And we need to pit anyway, so let's do it now. Where's Stroll? He's far enough behind, so he could put as well. The new mediums. Okay, box, 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 box. Where do we come out? P15. Right in front of Mick, it seems like. Oh, we need to let Leclerc by. Leclerc's kind of problem now. 
Because we he will cost us time. Except if we pull away. No, we won't pull away though. Okay, and we can't overtake him back. But Claire does start to push away though. Pull away though. Whatever. Stroke and also push. Copy. Go past Latif, he hopefully doesn't don't get blocked again. Oh yeah, he blocks Mick now. Oh very good. Mick's out of DRS now. 7.3. We are not really catching Magnuson. What tire is he on? Medium. It's still quite fresh. Oh man. Was that the wrong decision? Stroll wants to overtake the stubborn but can't. I hope the people in front of me need to pit again. That would be amazing. We're catching them. And some people do need to pit. Like Gasly, okay. That is good. We're gaining positions, we're gaining positions! This could be great! We're right behind Ocon now. Okay, use tires but save save a bit of time behind Ocon. What tires is Ocon on? Okay, on softs. We need, to, we need to save fuel. Another one locked up into sector 3, I think. Oh no. What did happen? Is that a lock up? Okay, Leclerc locked up. We're past Norris. They are on the two step, they are on the soft, medium, soft. That's good, that's good for us. Stroll nearly caught up to Sonoda, we need to be a bit faster to catch up to Orkon. You can stop lifting coast. Okay. Because once we are banned Orkon, we get our fuel back. Okay, we are right behind Sonoda now. Do we harvest or do we just, let's just deploy, just get past Sonoda. Use energy. Okay. Clearly faster than him. Actually, we don't save fuel this way though. Come on, a tiny bit more. It's our sector. We're good in low speed. Come on, Sep. Yes. Yes, that is good. Oh, so many people are in front of me and pitting. That could be huge. We need to charge here. Yes. Copy. Affirmative. We're MP9 now. We just need to charge up. Oh, we're MP9. Copy. Maybe even P8? Okay, we, I want to stay behind Orkon, so we can save fuel. Last thing is I want. Last thing is running out of fuel. First ERS, then set it to neutral, then regain fuel. Don't need to overtake him now, Seb. Be a bit patient. If you can get him, you can get him. If not, then just chill. Okay, we're neutral on that now. Go to harvest. Orkon is defending very early. Can harvest both a bit. Stroll will probably soon get Mick. Let's go to deploy. He's pushing pretty hard. But can we get him down the inside? Oh, it's close. Sector 3, Aero Flag. It's an Alpine. An Alpine. It's Alonso. Can we get him? The conserve probably. Wrecked him. But that's fine. Spin, spin for Alonso. We can Let's take see. a look now. Now watch this. Here's Alonso's car. <laughs> Just looked up and sp like half spun. Nasty spin. Lost the position to an Alfa Romeo. Okay, who's behind? Russell's behind us in nine seconds. Right now he's not a concern. He will be pretty soon, I think. But right now he isn't. Let's go for. So use energy if you need it. Copy. Keeping up with Hawkon. Strollner can try to get past Mick. Get him, boy! Get him! You're allowed to stay on deploy. Come on. No, it's not failed. It's not failed yet. Come on, get him! Push! You're still next side by side to him. Overtake, push, go, go, go. Yes! Use yes! Overtake. Good job, Stroll. Okay. Oh, he's side, still by side by side. Okay, come on. They're still side by side. Let's have a look at this. Oh, that camera angle is interesting. Still side by side through the whole first sector. Use overtake. Okay. Yeah. Have a chill for now. Now, Seb, Seb, is, Seb is trying to get past Ocon now on the outside. Wow, the overspeed. Didn't see that coming. Looks like Aston Martin have just gained a race position. Let's have a look. Have a look. Taking a look again. The overspeed was just huge. Probably he, he probably ran out of ERS, that's the thing. 
So Stroll might be low on ERS. Which is good. Don't need to push it now. Can conserve the first sector. Your job is now to keep Ocon behind. Yeah, block class. Don't let him get past now. Actually, not yet. Not yet. We need fuel later on. First part, conserve again. A stroll, stroll does need to conserve again. Stroll Some can coast push. Will help Have him on lift and coast through the first two sectors completely. Because it's hard to overtake here. Maybe I'll get proven wrong now. Yep, okay. Good to know. Oh, that's scary with the gravel. Currently P9. P9. But it's still fine, it's still fine, it's still fine. Okay, he's in front of me, but that's good, we get the DRS now. Just keep on conserve. We have the pace. Come on, Stroll. You are doing a good job. Yes. Deploy that. He's still side by side with me, isn't he? Yeah, he still is side by side with me. Now defend. Get him. Good job, Stroll. Keep doing what you're doing. Use that to defend now. Priori right behind us. Defend. Yeah, okay. Okay, that's kind of bad because he overtook me into the last sector. Deploy, 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 deploy. Oh no, he let the Ferrari bus too soon. We're not okay on fuel. Can we have the RS please now? Come on, get back to and talk on window. Still a lot to play for. Okay, we lost the make, that's fine, that's fine. Neutral. Oh, this is stressful. Last sector is our sector, we will gain on Ocon now. We're strong in the last sector, that that is our main play to go for. We need to overtake Ocon before we go into the last lap. But we need to have the fuel for it. We need to conserve. Come on, can you get into DRS set? No, you can't, okay. Oh, we got screwed over by the blue flag again. Lift and coast will help. Copy. We need to lift and coast for step. Actually, no, we got overtaken. Forget that. We got, over five, four, we got lapped. Five, we got four, lapped. Four, We're fine on fuel because we got lapped. Catch Ocon now. Oh, I forgot that. We're actually fine on fuel. Come on. Come on, Zep. Come on, Zep. You can do it. Oh, I realized a tiny bit earlier. Now the uh, ERS is running out. Castro is now about to do a magic trick. Use Overtake energy. the yeah. house. There we go. Now you try to keep him behind. This is good. Is there a thing Let's you need for sure that? We keep them behind? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's too neutral to get some time back, but I think it will be hard. I think we can't catch Ocon Ocon is away. We need to think about Russell behind us now. The lift and coast killed us. If it would have been the RS of Ocon, we could have get him. If it gets to point 0.8, I will start to conserve again. But right now, I want to use it to get to keep in front of Rasmo. Is that a new race position for Haas? Boy, attack. Energy, if you need it. Copy. You just sort of in front of him, stroll. Ocon isn't too f much faster than us. The DRS would have helped us. No, Seb! Good place. Seb, run wide! Okay, you need to keep the guy behind you. Behind. Under floor damage. Okay, Seb. You really can't be doing this to me now. Okay, Seb, you need to survive one lap. I believe in you. I believe in you. Use your ERS to defend, please. This is will Stroll catch us? Yes, you will, okay. Out of... Well, not Stroll, but... um, Russell. We need to be on neutral to defend out of these corners. So we're happy to let these tires cool a bit. Copy. Okay, let's have a look. Where's Troll? Okay, he's right before Trumacher. You can go to neutral again. Don't don't let the car behind you pass. Okay, Seb. 
Make it proud. Go for defend. That's Leclerc. Show Leclerc is today's winner. Come on, Seb. Yes, yes. Our first point on the board. Stroll got overtaken though. Get the tires down now. Yeah. Can we get past him again? Go for overtake. Yeah, no. He got past us. Okay. That's fine though. Points with Seb. P9. P9 with Seb. Very good. Good upgrades. They work like the treat. So that's it. Leclerc finished 34 seconds ahead of Paris. P9 is very, very, very good. Vettel sure knows how to show Formula One fans a good time. Great work. Yeah, great work, by Seb. Paid was on the table, but it was hard. So great, great work for P9. Two points is huge. Aston Martin having an extremely good day at the track. You can see that the team runs like a well-oiled machine. Everything was precise and on point this weekend. With the race wrapped up, the team is ranked in ninth in the constructor standings. For the We're next still ninth. Three, make sure you join us at the renowned city circuit of Monaco. Prepare Monaco's next. Monaco slow corners. Full of slow corners. Or at least in theory. There we go. Eight positions gained. That is amazing. I realized a bit earlier of the fuel, then we probably could have gained even more. We are now P15 in the driver standings. And still ninth in the constructors because McLaren and Haas have points. Did the McLarens gain points? No, they didn't. But they just still have points, okay. One point more and we, we get Haas. Now we are pointless anymore. Good job, Seb. Yep, the outgoings are the damaged ones. Oh no, the bonus plus because Seb got 10th. It's I'm fine with giving Seb a bit of money for that achievement. Tour center has been upgraded. And the next track is Monaco. Let's have a look in the inbox. Tour center complete. Post rates overview. Exceeding expectations. Look at that. Our confidence in you in our confidence in you as a leader has grown quite a bit. Isn't that beautiful to hear? Okay, then, see you in the next part. Next race is Monaco, the jewel of the F1 crown. And, yeah, goodbye and hope you have a nice day.